Oh, or unless he, unless he's unless he's memeing because he claims to be like a little over two years older than Destiny. Wait, hold on, Egghead, you're literally his age. Good try. I will not confirm or deny my exact age. Nice try. Okay, though. you sure? <laughs> you sure you're not just literally just Dan? I'm sure I could be. I could be 38. I could be anything between 30 and 40. And you guys are both programmers as well, no? What are you getting at? What? What are you implying? Are you saying I'm like Dan? I'm like one of them boys? I I'm saying I'm saying you probably made. You're gonna play the cha ching sound, aren't you? I see it coming. I see it coming. Dot io. Okay, you made that. Actually, I run. He runs redact.dev. I run redact.ju, which actually can remove okay. information from the real oh, world, which yes. is like wilder. It's like, but it's only it's only for the Jew alumni. Frankie says all Jewish people are the same guy. Not true, because I know that uh, quibbles exist. I know, you know that Rafi also, not also exists. How what? do you know I'm also not Rafi? How do you know I'm also not Quibbles? Because you don't sound like them. Exactly. AI has gotten really good. You, I, I don't have think. You, have you ever asked, like, without any prompting, have you ever asked Quibbles to hold up two fingers? I don't think so. Exactly. What are you have implying? You even, have you even seen Quibbles' hand? Are you sure he has the correct number of fingers? Are, are you saying that Jewish people are lizard people? No, this is for intelligent people who know about AI and know that uh, AIs have substantial problems drawing human hands, so it's like a giveaway. Oh, I didn't know that you were referencing that. Yeah, my my knowledge goes deep, you know, because I'm all I'm, I'm Dan, I'm Quibbles, I have to like know a fuck ton of shit, you know. Deep as as deep as the Jewish as deep as I was in your mom network, uh, as deep as deep as the Tickle Council. Deeper than Destiny was in that mid Jewish pussy because he wasn't deep at all. Oh, no. how do you? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm also, I am also right. Lav, by the way. You're not Lav. I think you would be more unhinged when prove I that, prove that I'm not you. Lav. Exactly. I, I can't, Checkmate. I can't, I can't prove a not. You're saying that you're not laugh, but I can't, I can't prove it. Right. Like I can't, I can't do that. Oh, hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting word from the, uh, from the egghead spy network of which okay. apparently Ellen degenerate is now a part of cause they DM'd me the, the link for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure I've seen them before. There you go. It is public considering it's on their Twitter, but yeah. I and really just for all the anti-Semites out there, mostly just food shops. No, I'm not Dan. We are different people. Jesus Christ, you fucking anti-Semite. I may or may not have recordings <laughs> of food shops saying anti-Semitic slurs, black making genetic references to black people, just asking questions about the Holocaust, and also doing a, a tier list of all orbiters and both both on their appearance, their personality, and their fuckability and their breedability, which is actually the wilder one. It diverges strongly from all the other ones. I, I still I still look forward to the day as somebody who is close to DGG Sphere releases their DMs on Brianna Wu. And I hope you learn to stop making really horrible statements about your moral system being built upon your your image to other people. Okay. Uh, as if other people haven't done that to where they say, Oh my god, it'll look really bad if I did this, but I would love to do this, but I couldn't. That that's different than what you said. You said to the effect of, no, I won't leak DMs because it would hurt my credibility. It wasn't, oh, I'd really like to. However, you know, I know I shouldn't. Because you, well, like, you... I know I shouldn't implies I have a moral system well, well, against well, it. I know well, I shouldn't because of my optics is stating your moral it's, system. It's, 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 it's probably a good thing that credibility lines up with the general morals of the public space, right? No, that's not good because that just means I would I would murder and rape 5,000 people because I could get away with it. That's your moral system. Well, like, yeah, if I could get away with things, why would I not do it? That's so silly.
You're a silly Billy. I, I disavow. <laughs> Jesus. I feel as though, like, if I'm able to get away with it, I'll be doing all kinds of horrible things. You are, in fact. The what? non You are the non-vegan version of Vegan Gains, who's like, you know, I would actually kill all the carnivores if, you know, it wouldn't have the repercussions of doing so. No, so instead I'm just doing things in the background. You know, not things on stream. The actual actions. Stuff that is... Stuff in the background. Uh, I mean, you already admitted on a stream with Rezzy what you do in the background, so uh, it's already out there. What do I do? Just something about power dynamics, I don't know. But well, have, you ever, have you guys ever seen just for no reason, Chad? Have you guys ever seen like that Britney Spears video when she's in the schoolgirl outfit? I'm, not, I'm this is just you know a random question. Why would you ask that? Uh, it came to mind because just like Britney Spears, I could say that you drive me crazy, food chuffs. Wasn't she like 16? I don't fucking know. I'm pretty sure she was 16 at the time, and all of America thought that she was like the pinnacle of beauty. And then they had a countdown timer when she turned 18. It was pretty weird. I don't remember. I think, I think, I actually, now my timeline is fucked in my head. Because I think, I think she's only a few years older than I am, so I, I would have been in my young teens, so this was not a concern of mine. She's a few years older than you are? Isn't she oh, in her 40s? Brittany. I actually really don't remember Spears how old she is, age. but I feel like she's in her 40s. Oh, 42 years. Oh, wait. Oh my god, are... I'm a genius. Wait, wait, you are Dan's age. What the heck? You are 38. Unlike you, I don't get baited into things on stream. You're Jewish. Oh, you're a developer. Oh. You're a guy who sounds just like Dan, and you're 38. How do you know I'm Jewish? Have you confirmed my circumcision? You you exactly. told me yourself. What like I if, if you're gonna say you're black, what, you're, like you're, I could wait, believe hold up. you. You're gonna believe it. You're gonna believe a Jew. Oh, see, they're did sneaky. You, all right, because did you never miss, watch? Did no, you never on, watch it Labyrinth? Get, it get, it get, You've it get never Jewish. watched Labyrinth. Okay, food shops. But it, it get, if, get, if one statue get. always says they're going to lie, and the other <laughs> statue says they only tell the truth, but we're not going to tell you which statue is which, how do you figure out where you need to go, which path you need to go down, left or right? To it get, it get. All Jewish people mix in truths with a lot of lies. Oh, God. So she I have to pick and Labyrinth. choose. So Guys, I have to pick and choose. I have to pick and choose which ones are truths and which ones are lies. Um, the the network who has provided content has asked, uh, basically Ellen Degenerate has asked if you want to talk because their content there wants to talk to you. Tell Ellen Degenerate. I mean, that... they're probably watching the streams, so you can just tell them yourself. I don't need to do this. Well, Ellen Degenerate, if if I could get away with it, I would Never mind. They say, no, no, keep going. I want to know. The Shadow Network could be listening. Okay, is there anything else, Eggy? <laughs> oh my god. Anything else? Our podcast? Yes, let's fucking do it. Although I'm gonna need some destiny at home because oof. I don't know what you're you're like stardust at home. 
Yikes. Yikes, whoa, Pam. Whoa. Yikes, Pam. Whoa. Yikes. Did you never just call, say Stardust at home? Never call my DMs disappointing. <laughs> Dude, okay. To be clear, I also like Stardust. Okay, I just disconnected him. Um, You know, that statement can be taken to mean many things, right? Yes. Okay. Brianna was unhinged. This is how I was treated. Use your imagination to fill in the gaps. I was treated for trying to help with things I care about. I have a good idea for your Doyle debate, but I don't know if you have enough time to pull it off. It was long as hell. Brianna. Ellen, you told me about a month ago that you were a fairly direct person. I'm going to f be fairly direct with you now. If you want help, Getting a 501c3 funded, it's extremely arrogant and counterproductive to ping me in Keffel's server. Telling me if I don't respond to you, I hate gay people. <laughs> Alright, already right off the bat, I'm okay with Wu. <laughs> this, listen, reading this out might actually, you know, paint Wu in a better light, okay? I just... Yeah, I don't, I don't, dude, <laughs> I don't know if I want to read this. This is just very stupid. Like, no, like, no offense. Okay, like, I don't know how interested I am in this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait. There's three whole super chats that I forgot to put on. There you go. Okay, the thing that I want to show you guys is this. Okay. So apparently, Brianna Wu has... posted some things in the Destiny Discord server. And, uh... Yeah, apparently she went sort of unhinged. Um... And she deleted her messages. But thanks to one of my schizos. Ooh, A-logs people. Alright. Like Brianna Wu. Keeping track of multiple people. All right. I have managed to capture what I want to see. So here. Uh, Urk, this person in uh, the Destiny Discord server. All right. Says. Brianna Wu. Uh... This question, what do you think is the significance of the Marwin Bargudi uh, defeating Ismail Hanaye in head-to-head -head pulling in? I believe every single PCP SR poll since they started pulling these options against one another, including through October 7th to now. I feel like there were no substantive difference between Hamas and the Palestinian public. And remember... Before October 7th, majority of Palestinians in Gaza were against ceasefire violation, according to TWI of all groups. And Hanie would just take it every time, but he simply doesn't. He loses the Bargudi every time. And this is in response to Brianna saying, difficult question, what is the policy goal that is different between Palestinian civilians, Hamas, and PIJ? And yeah, there's an Israel and Palestine, uh, there's an Israel and Palestine question, okay, that somebody is pinging Brianna Wu for. And then I think this is, uh, followed up by this one, all right, in the Destiny Discord server. 
Brianna will respond to it. The question is what it looks like after the violence is over. Okay, so Brianna will say this. And then... So, so by the way, I just want to say this. Pinging, uh, pinging people in a Discord server, especially people who are, um, you know, content creators and such, it's a little bit strange and a little bit weird. It kind of, you know, uh, causes them to not want to interact very much, right? Because you're pinging them a lot. Uh, especially in a server. Like, for example, um, I'm pretty sure President Sunday left my server back in the day when I still had a bridge of them because one person in my orbit who was a President Sunday super fan kept on pinging President Sunday because he had critiques of President Sunday for running away from debates. And he pinged President Sunday like three times uh, before President Sunday left my Discord server. So yeah, that happened. And I think that uh, sometimes, uh, way back in the day, all right, apparently, you can mute mentions. Yeah, well, some people are boomers. Apparently, Dev has also been pinged multiple times just because of the size of the YouTube channel that he runs. And people were just trying to reply back to Dev in my tiny Discord server back in the day. Just mainly because they're like, oh, I can't wait for an opportunity to debate Dev on politics, which is pretty cringe. Okay, it's pretty cringe. Uh, yeah, so that's typically what happens. Okay. Wait, King Kongor just sent me something. <laughs> I don't know if I... I'll probably show this later, but... Should I? Should I show this? <laughs> okay. All right, Jesus. Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll continue, okay? So basically, Brianna Wu then posts this, I think. I don't know. Uh, wait, hold on. No. This is Brianna Wu posting something else that is not really related, okay? Can I show y'all the most lesbian conversioning thing I've ever seen? If this goes viral. Uh, heterosexuality is over. And this is some post, Sydney Sweeney on her hobby of restoring vintage cars. I have a car I'm about to start working on. I don't want to spoil what it is yet because I'm going to post it on my TikTok, but I've had it for a while. So... Yeah, I mean, this person, I mean, I guess Brianna Wu is just kind of showing a little bit of, I don't know. I guess just memeing around, messing around, okay? So that's another post. Uh, okay, what is this? Brianna Wu, I said Israel calls it the War of Independence or whatever. This person named Omni Liberal Reformer, you specifically said it's not an ethnic cleansing and laugh at people making jokes about it. <laughs> now they say, suck my fat balls, retard. Nice. Epiphany, which is a, I guess is a Destiny Discord server mod, says let's go. Rihanna Wu says, which is true. Um, and then I have another one right here. Apparently, these have all been deleted, I think. So yeah, I guess there's that. Carol, is she completely crackers? She thinks Exodus was real, so I think this is referring to Brianna Wu. Um, and then we can see... Why is this so out of order? Yo. Hold on. Hold on. I got this out of order. I got this slightly out of order, guys. Okay. I'm being told... Uh, Brianna Wu is debating chatters in DGG Discord politics channel. Okay. That is the full context. So Brianna Wu is debating people. 
All right. No, I don't think would exist then. The original Jewish presence in the region dates to around 2000 BCE with the 12 tribes. Around 700 years later, Egypt saw them as a threat, then came in and enslaved them. Moses led a slave revolt based with the help of divine intervention, escaped, and after 40 years of exile, they eventually conquered what we call Israel today. Pretty traumatic, right? Lo, we are just getting started. So after the exodus, the Assyrians came in and conquered Israel. This is around the 8th century who wanted the land for economic control and part of a wider effort of expansion and control. In 722, they seized a city called Samaria and exiled massive amounts of the Jewish population. Important to note, this is a biblical history and modern historians do not have clear documentation. By 538, the Babylonians let the Jews return to their homeland and try to rebuild their society. And after 500 years of difficult work, the Romans set their sights on Jerusalem. Over a million Jews are slaughtered, a staggering number for this time period when the world population was so much lower. Jews were enslaved, Jews were raped, their homes were pillaged, and 1878 years of horror start. This is called the fall of the Second Temple. So this is February 20th, 2024. Um, and I don't know what this is in response to. No, I don't. Uh, listen, the person who gave this to me, do you know... Do you know what this is specifically? No, I don't, too. Wait, people were cooking her on her Israel takes in Destiny Discord, or is this another server? Uh, this is, um, this is in Destiny's Discord server. Yeah. Apparently this is in Dis Destiny's Discord server. So now... Uh, Brianna Wu clarifies, important to note, this is biblical history. Karel, who is the person debating her, says... Important to know, I'm repeating unsubstantiated mythological history. Brianna Wu says, fuck off, bro. Literally, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Listen, we all, have, uh, we all have our unhinged moments, okay? But if you're Brianna Wu, it's probably not good to say something like this, okay? Especially if you have a typical demeanor of being a very compromising, uh, political, proactive, directional person. All right. It's probably not good to say debating some complete Fumega lol in Destiny's Discord server. Fuck off, bro. Literally, fuck off. It's probably not good. I'm just saying, okay. All right. If you want to reserve these two lines, you probably want to reserve them for some politician or somebody who you are going against. Actually, probably not even that, but if you're losing your mind in a Destiny Discord server, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Uh, important note, this is biblical history. No, important to know, I am repeating unsubstantiated mythological history. So what I'm guessing is that Brianna Wu is using biblical history in order to drive her narrative home. Uh, which, if true, is pretty cringe. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're, you guys are really going to like this one, okay? You guys are really going to like this one. <laughs> Go suck your own dick. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Brianna Wu. She's just losing it. She's just losing it in Destiny's Discord server. She's just worried about that that chatter's flexibility. She's worried. She wants them to do Pilates and yoga, and you know maybe that's like a good goal for achievement. There are a lot of people who are coomers in Destiny's chat. Listen, I'm just I'm here to be. I'm here to channel the power of Olive and just defend everything. N no, <laughs> you are with Olive. No, every single time I dude, every single what? time I criticize what? Brianna what? Wu, you always come here to sweep for her. What's wrong with you? 
people do all Jews look like look like janitors to you? What's this about sweeping? <gasps> You're, In fact, you're oh my god, you made me a mod? You made me a mod? Oh my Brianna god, you do Wu. think all Jews are Jannies. Jesus. No, but you're mad because Brianna Wu has a pro-Israel position. And because she's using some kind of terrible reasoning behind it, now you feel like you have to defend everything Brianna says. I like how you're trying to pivot from your, your blatant <laughs> anti-Semitism. I am very blatantly anti-Semitic, okay? I already thought I made that clear. Uh, the Trib, I would love some Woo Bucks. If you happen to have it in, let me know. Uh, okay, how do you explain Brianna Wu saying, go suck your own dick? I thought you like. Wait, why do you like Brianna Wu? I'm just curious. Here, pr present the other narrative. Oh shit, it's the Masai! <laughs> Bro. What? Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> that was so unhinged. Okay. Oh, and then and then it's a screenshot. And then it's a screenshot in the chronological order. Okay. Alright, which is already... Uh, yeah. There's that already the sucking dick part. The question is what it looks like after the violence is over. <laughs> Alright. And then Brianna Wu then says, can I show you guys the most lesbian converting, conversioning thing I've ever seen? If this goes viral, heterosexuality is over. I'm not interested in watching the video, although thank you for the link. I said Israel calls it the war of independence or whatever, and then which is true, which I already read this out. And now this makes sense, okay? And now this makes sense. Calum, okay, says... Is she completely crackers? And Carell says she thinks Exodus was real. So, <laughs> oh my God. So I guess the Exodus is part of the Bible, right? I don't know too much about the Bible, but basically I guess this is referencing, <laughs> this is referencing that Brianna Wu took biblical history and used that in her debate the most competent pro-Israel debater, by the way. And then... The part with the river of blood totally happened, lol. Simps. Oh wait, that Deuteronomy? I don't know what the heck that is. Okay. The meaning of... That word is the fifth book of canonical Jewish and Christian scripture containing narrative and mosaic Sections laws. Sections of the Bible. Dude, stop you, dude. Why is there no fucking join sound when you enter in? Jesus Christ, dude. That fucking scares the shit out of me. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. And then... Wait, this is so out of order. Dude, oh my god, it's so out of order. Okay. Okay. So here, Brianna Wu says, I'm a right winger, haha. Don't you read Twitter? Matsuken says, You are, shouted to Matsuken. Johannes Scarlet Rosa says, you don't have to pay attention to Carell. Um, and then Massigan says, no, we are less insane to read Twitter. Carell says, Wu is way more lib than I am. And this foxy person says, <laughs> pointing above, Irk says, well, get, we are talking about Exodus now. I just wanted to point out that there are good reasons to believe that there's, uh, there is a substantial difference between Hamas and the Palestinian public in terms of policy aims and even between Hamas and PIJ. My favorite PCPSR result is that the overwhelming majority of Palestinians, some 80% up to 90% of ruralities, back solidarity of the Uyghurs in China. Mango says, I always pay attention to Karel. They have a cute cat. Brianna Wu says, I'm a progressive. <laughs> Dude. 
All right, and you guys are gonna love this. <laughs> this, is, this is the best part. <laughs> Progressives are libs that want structural, structural policy reform. Dude. I don't... <laughs> I can't comprehend this. I, I don't agree with this definition. This is an L. Yes, very clearly progressives are libs that want structural policy reform. As if there's any kind of coherent definition of the word progressive at all. That's the worst definition I've heard of progressive ever? Yeah. Typically, when people think of progressive, people think of somebody who is, like, very much socially left-leaning to the degree where they are left of center-left, I guess. <clears throat> but the thing is, you know, like, I just... I don't think anybody agrees with this definition. Like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Also, I don't know why. I, I also don't know why, like... She even poses, like, progressive victory as an actual progressive uh, organization. It doesn't make much sense to me. Like, for me, right? Uh, if you don't agree, I, I feel like agreeing with mainstream progressive thought is, like, a bare minimum. But I don't even think that progressive victory does. I think progressive victory doesn't even agree with the, uh, uh, for example, mainstream progressive thought is uh, pro-Israel. Uh, so, so, sorry, sorry, pro-Palestine sentiment, very much anti-Israel. But I don't even think progressive victory or Brianna Wu agrees with that. I just don't think so. Name a structure she wants to reform. Now, you can't do it. <laughs> Dude, I hate these buzzwords, right? Because these people would just, like, walk around and just throw buzzwords everywhere. Because it's like, what the hell? What the hell is structural policy reform? Like, these words, in of itself, I feel like doesn't really mean that much, right? Like, for me, I just... When I look at these words, I, I don't understand what this what these words mean, right? Like, what the hell is structural policy reform? Like, I, I feel like if I'm giving a speech, I'll be using these words in order to appeal to the masses who aren't thinking all that much, right? Like, structural policy reform, like... If we're, if we're talking about any kind of laws that are being reformed, by definition, is that, isn't that like structural by definition? Just mainly because if you reform any kind of policy or change any kind of policy, that is changing something within the structure. So it's kind of redundant to say structural policy reform, isn't it? Which is why I think this is like very buzzwordy. And she didn't think this through. Like, for example, anybody who is center-left would also... are also libs that want structural policy reform because there's no doubt that there are some laws that they want passed. I want to know the message it was in response to. Could it be tongue in cheek I... Apparently, the leaker is unable to fetch... Uh, is unable to fetch the thing. I think. Unless the leaker is listening and is able to produce what she was responding to. I would call someone like Kin Akin a progressive? Sure. Sure. But yeah, like, I feel so Brianna Wu is not really... Like, like what, what does she support exactly? That is progressive, right? Isn't progressive stuff also like trans women are women, right? Not that, not saying that I agree with it. Not saying that I agree with it, right? But I'm saying that Brianna Wu doesn't even agree with that. 
Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure progressive thought agrees with uh, self-ID, right? Ask any progressive, what are we progressing towards? Communism. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there you go, I guess. <laughs> I think that's about it.